All right, we're back. So, that was a really good sandwich. Sorry, we just got some banh mi. It was delicious. Mm, delicious Vietnamese sandwiches. Oh yeah, it's really good. So we are currently playing Risk. It's been a little while here. So okay, no, we are playing Cripple Girls. Oh, this isn't Risk. We are playing Cripple Girls. Oh, and in the game Cripple Girls. I was going to invade Australia. I am the fool then. <laughs> I am mistaken. All oh, right. So. <laughs> AJ is giving me a look like he has had enough of my shenanigans and sass today. Mm. Now then, we were left off at the uh, epic cliffhanger in the game of world domination. That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I said. Yep. Okay. <laughs> game, of, game of world domination, and uh, we're playing Risk with these <clears throat> adorable ladies. Misha and she's they are there. they are very adorable. And uh, Misha asked us. That she says you have no chance if you keep playing like this. No, you won't. Exactly that. Exactly that. <laughs> and uh, we've got to decide. It's a trap. It's smarter to uh, play defensively here. Or she has a point. Attack aggressively. I feel like I've already been, been made a fool of once today. So I feel like being made fool of twice. Let's let's attack aggressively. Oh, well, that wasn't what I expected. <coughs> <coughs> yep. Sorry, that sounded disgusting. <laughs> she hmm. is uh, either really mocking me or trying to trick me. ¿Por qué no los dos? I had nothing else to lose. What does that mean? ¿Por qué no los dos? It's Spanish for why not both. Oh. Habla español, gringo. I know. Ay, <laughs> chica. I don't speak español Spanish. It's okay, I don't either, and I'm Mexican-ish. I have nothing else to lose, though. <laughs> <laughs> so Going back to this. I might as well try something different. Maybe if I uh, spread out my forces, try to control more territories, I can recoup the advantage. Shizune seems to focus on conquering whole nations, so maybe I can sacrifice my hold on continents to gain more small countries. I wish they actually had to play Risk in this game. Right? You just like click on it. It, it would be, be awesome. painful, though. Really painful. Because Risk is a painful game. It, it sucks. I hate Risk. I'm not good at it. <laughs> it's worth a shot. A few turns later, I end up losing the game anyway. Dang, well, at least it's realistic. Yeah. Shizune and No, nobody wins in the game of Risk. Nobody. Everyone gives up after like seven hours of playing and yep. says game over. We're just done. Okay, she's gonna adjust her glasses victoriously and allows herself to tentatively puff a fist in the air in celebration. Dot dot dot. I'll win. I'll win. Yay. There's no need to translate that. That was pretty clear. Wahaha. Ha. Don't look so sad, He Chan. You were really giving it your best. That's what I thought. Sometimes your best just isn't good enough, though. If anyone knows that, it's me. That's sad. What does that mean? <laughs> Poor girl. <clears throat> it's okay to fail. I do all the time. <laughs> you did very well for someone who has just learned how to play today. Oh. Dot, dot, dot. He Chan, you attacked Iceland and North America at the same time. That's a very daring move. She Chan is impressed. Dot, dot, dot. The mark of great people is that they are daring and that they can follow through. You're already halfway there. Isn't that great, E Chan? Dot, dot, dot. That isn't enough, though. Just potential isn't enough. There is no point to potential if you don't take the first step. And there's no point to that if you don't keep going. I want to see more. You're right, She Chan, but that's so demanding. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. She's Sorry, dot, dot, dot. dot. <laughs> He's in a leads forward, suddenly looking a lot less playful and more like the serious person I expected her to be from the start. Uh-oh. Dot, dot, dot. And then they kiss. <gasps> hey, Chain, would you like to join the student council? I guess they don't. She really doesn't waste any time, does she? But it's only my second day of school, so I'm hesitant about committing to something so early. I haven't even taken a look at the uh, other clubs yet. But spending time with Shizune and Misha doesn't seem like something I would hate. I, s uh, I still need more time to think about it before I decide for sure. Maybe I'll get back to you on it. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, he chain, but I hope you're not just saying that so we don't feel bad. No, really. Really? He chain, if you're going to say that, you're saying that it is definitely the truth, and there can't be any mistaking it. I know, I know. I guess I should have my revenge for losing at the very least. She's in a smiles at that in a mischievous way that feels like twisting the knife in the wound of my loss. And looks terrifying. Ow. I take it's like she has fangs. Ooh, little, little. 
It's like a number three or an M or a W. Oh yeah. Or any of those turned to their sides or upside down. Yeah, there you go. Or a W is just upside down. Anyway. <laughs> I take a glance at the clock on the wall and realize I've spent far longer playing Risk than I expected. <laughs> the clock on the wall says that's all. Kids. I think everyone has that thought every time they play Risk. Yeah, even if you just set the bar, you're like, that was way too long. Sorry, I think I have to go. I wanted to go to the library. It's not closed yet, is it? She's an A scratches her head and gestures at Misha. How hard can it be to determine whether the library is open? That's, there's a clock right there on the wall. We can't read clocks. Dot, dot, dot. It should be, unless the librarian is absent. I think you're right, she chan We think the library's open. It's on the second floor. Can't miss it. Do you want us to show you where it is? No, thanks. It's okay. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. One flight up the stairs and I run into problems. Another, somehow worse painting. This uh, one is of a sad, starving child uh, from some country. Oh, it's scary. He okay. is slightly green. Those are problems. Yep. The second floor hallway is a carbon copy of the third floor, only worse. <laughs> so, somehow. Wide, of course, <clears throat> and plain, like only hallways can be. The problem <coughs> is that the library's whereabouts are not as easily determined as one might think. Oh, no. The classrooms are marked with signs stating which class they belong to, but then there's a plethora of other unmarked rooms. Is the library one of them, or is it just somewhere down the hallway? Time to just scream and scratch at the walls I bet like on a the cat. Ladder. Choose a random direction. Or we can do your thing. After I turn around the corner, an unmarked door draws my attention because it's not closed. Oh. It's not open either, though. Oh. Just barely ajar, so oh. that I can see it's open and nothing else. It would make sense for the library door to be invitingly open. While this one is not quite that, it's good enough. At the very least, it means that someone is inside and I can ask for directions, no matter how embarrassing Gonna that is. Gonna walk out on a murder scene? I gingerly push on the center of the door with my fingertips, every muscle in my arm <gasps> ready to pull back at a moment's notice. What is he so afraid of? Uh, maybe there is a spider on the inside of the door. The feeling of being an outsider to the school can't be shaken from my mind, so much so that I instinctively fear doing something no. wrong by entering. Oh my god. Gonna walk in on an orgy. <sighs> the door slowly creaks as if groaning from a deep sleep that was much easier to open than I'd anticipated. Leaning over and poking my head further inside to gain sight of the room as fast as possible, the meek hello on my lips is quickly snatched away. Oh no, by who? By what? We must know! Oh. A babe! A blonde babe. This is not as I was expecting. Yeah, I'm pretty surprised too. I mindlessly let the door open to its full extent, taking in the sight of the solitary figure taking center stage in the otherwise abandoned room. The situation steals <coughs> my voice, leaving me standing at the doorway staring at the beautiful girl. Evidently having taken her time to assess the situation, the girl gently puts down her teacup. Of course she has a teacup. And opens her eyes. I see no teacup. Well, she, cause she put it down, like, under the table. <laughs> Let's just store this in one of these shelves the tables don't have. Oh. Hello there! May I help ya? Staring directly in front of herself, the movements of her lips <clears throat> seem to break the silence rather than the words. However, it's the soft, measured voice that reminds me she's of being separate from the room itself. Yep, soft oh, and measured. That's why I'm soft. doing this voice. Not only is she like the tallest girl I've ever laid eyes like on. The tallest <laughs> yeah, I'm girl. going valley girl. Not oh. only is she like the tallest girl. And it's so tacky, I've her eyes and the hair on? together with the bow. Oh, but even a Gag me before. with a spoon. <laughs> I'm going yeah, 80s valley girl. A fork. Uh, that's that's painful and stabbing. Yeah, <laughs> that is just stabbing. Even among the foreigners I've met, <coughs> she is strikingly distinct. Oh, uh, hi. Sorry for intruding. I was just kind of lost. She takes a moment to formulate a response <laughs> before speaking. Every action she takes feels as if it's carefully choreographed mm. beforehand. Get up to take a seat. Unexpected, considering that I'm intruding upon her. I should actually slow down a little bit because I already have trouble mumbling when I talk, and doing that voice makes it ten times worse. Oh, awesome. Thanks. Awesome. <laughs> I slowly step towards another seat door opposite her. Seat, I said door, seat door. Yeah, a seat door. A uh, seat opposite it, her. <laughs> it's a door to a comforting chair. Okay. The girl resting the teacup and saucer on the wooden table in between. The way she doesn't track my movements with her head is telling. That, and the slight cloudiness to her eyes, means she must be at least partially blind like Kenji. Wow, no shit, Sherlock. Well, love is blind. Mm. Mm-mm. Too true. Come to think of it, her voice doesn't have any detectable accent either. Alright, he just can't detect accents for shit. Oh, he's terrible. He's garbage. <laughs> I guess she must be half Japanese. Yeah, that's what I heard in there. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what I was like. Thank you for noticing. As I take my seat, her composure takes me slightly off guard. Her air of relaxed confidence makes the silence entirely comfortable. The calming atmosphere is so very different from the student council office. I take it you're a new student, Tayamaku. 
Uh, yeah. I just transferred in yesterday. I oh, get... hit boy! Yeah, I Good get... for you! Okay, I get the distinct <laughs> feeling my speech patterns don't match the formality of hers. So formal. Accentuated by her restrained bow of greeting. <laughs> oh, she's formal, all right. <laughs> One oh, which I head. hesitate, haste, hasten to match before realizing the futility of the action. Oh, you can't see it. You're funny. Oh, I'm really subtle. Please tell me, Chia. My glass is broken. I can't see the screen. Give me a second. Ah, uh, he... Sorry, I'm breaking the fourth wall. He... He sounds... He sounds... Not kind. She gives a nod before gesturing roughly in the direction of her teacup. Gesturing. Would you care for a drink? I can gesture to it for you. Oh, God. That's... <laughs> damn it. Sure. Sure. Okay. As much as it pains me, I can't keep step with her formality of the proceedings. She gives a kind of nod, taking the request in stride. What kind of nod? <coughs> I wonder. A kind of nod. A kind of nod. It oh, just says a kind nod. Oh, whatever. Damn it. A kind nod. We're taking the request in stride. Dude, okay. Japanese Irish isn't your first language. Don't worry. <laughs> Without another word, she steps off the chair and prepares a second cup of tea from a collection of supplies laid out on the shelf. A brush here, a brush there, her left hand. A brush the, everywhere. Lightly touching the side of whichever container she's pouring into. It seems to be a process she's followed dozens of times before. As I lean sideways to see around her back, she seems to use her long, dainty finger to measure the right amount of water in the cup. It's one thing to see the different disabilities the students in my class have, but it's quite another to see how everyone seems to adapt. Shizune and Misha have no problem working together to communicate to me, and Lily herself seems to have workarounds for problems I'd never thought of. While I feel slightly guilty about her doing the work, she seems to be uh, following the correct process of the offerer preparing the drink. So, Her soft voice brings me out of my silent observance. Which, uh... Which room are you looking for? It's all often this classroom's visited after school. The school library. She's an A and me, I mean, some classmates told me it was uh, on this floor. She finishes oh, pouring water into they? the teacup as she nods. A small oh, I bet they did. Metallic tapping coming from the teacup indicating it being stirred. I'm aware of Miss Hakamichi, as are most students. To be with them means you're in class 3 3, no? That's right, in the science room with Muto. She gives a small giggle before Tee -hee. setting down the teaspoon and slowly walking towards the table, teacup and saucer in hand. He's quite a character. I imagine you'll come to like him. Must do. If you had a chance to change your teacher, would ya? <laughs> That's a reference to the Brave uh, trailer oh, from 2012 uh, that people don't remember. Uh, no one watched that. <laughs> hey, I love that movie. Everyone watched that. No one liked that except hey, for you. You <laughs> monster! <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful redhead Scottish girls. I love it. She was homely. You're homely. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> as she sets down the tea, I gently take it and have a sip. I'm really more of a coffee person. Wow, like, licking the. Gift horse in the mouth. Mm, seems like a really bad moment to bring it up. Yeah. Nonetheless, that smells quite mm. nice. I hardly think it'd be hard to choke down. Thanks, Sato. This tastes really nice. She smiles and quickly waves her <laughs> hand in front of her face. Lily, please. There's no need to be too formal. She says this in spite of her exceedingly well-bred speech. Oh, well. Don't look uh, like that. I guess I should try and ask her about herself, as it really doesn't seem as if she's catering to me. So, which class are you from? I imagine it's one of the third year classes. Correct. I'm in class 3-2, which is on the third floor, same as yours. It's taught by Miyagi, and is specifically for both blind and partially blind students. Miyagi, as in like the guy from, uh, from... Yep. The Karate, karate Kid. Yeah, they learn how to catch flies with chopsticks and do crane kicks and sweep the leg. While blind. While blind. It's pretty impressive. I see. Uh, I mean... Um, they also learn to never give up. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, you're saying you see, Boyle? Is it because I'm blind? I feel like slapping myself for the faux pas. Uh, is that how you say it, faux pas? Yeah, faux pas. Okay, or good. fox pass. Fox for the fox pass. Uh, looking at her fox face, pass. though. Fox pass! Yeah! Doesn't seem in the uh, least bit put off by it, really. <coughs> my, my. There's no need to change your speech on my account. Uh, sure. Sorry, I guess. I'm really showing my newness here. Oh, then you should zip up your fly. Zip up your fly, get it? So your, your newness is showing. Anyway. Oh, okay. But an environment like this would be a big change, so I can't fault you for it. But the same can't be said for everyone. Many have come to terms with their conditions. A category which would include her, it seems. All too ready to jump ship from this particular topic, I segue into another. Do you uh, come here to drink tea often? Uh, it's a really nice place. 
thinking on it, this oh. might be her version of the place behind my school. So, do you like to come, come here often? I come here fairly often during lunch times. My duties as class representative don't leave enough time for an official club. So a friend and I use this room for having tea. So a tea club. Okay. Class representative. Hey, shut up. <laughs> Compared to Shizune, her mannerisms seem to be almost completely opposite. While Shizune is blunt and fiercely driven, Lily seems relaxed and calm and almost aloof. Very what do you call me? Aloof. <laughs> Never heard of aloof. <laughs> Means you're a dork. <laughs> okay. Come to think of it, she might be useful for a less biased view of the school's clubs. What kind of clubs are there to join? Hmm. The more popular ones are the sitting still and not moving for long periods of time club. Like this one. Oh. Seriously, this image, I, I can't get over the image. is not moving forever. It throws me off. Anyway, the more popular ones are the track and field club, which uses the field near the school during lunch times, the baseball club, and the book club in a room near the library. Okay, the baseball club is popular when, like, half the students are missing arms and legs? Yeah, they can use their prosthetics to hit the ball farther. Okay. <laughs> It's using uh, advantages. There are also numerous small ones too, though, such as the art and music clubs. At a time when I'm just wanting to get on my feet, rushing into a club right away <clears> seems <throat> slightly unappealing. I wonder if this school shares the same rules as my old one. Is it compulsory to join a club? Nay, it isn't. Though it is encouraged. Ah, good. That's a relief. I've really let down my guard around this girl to let such a thing slip out. Being relieved? Okay. <laughs> the fact seems too slightly amusing. <laughs> Not wanting my tea to get cold, I finally start drinking it as Lily does the same. Was she like waiting for you to drink your tea? Hey, look, the colors changed. Oh, yay! It's a different picture. As I look over to the window over her shoulder, I notice the light coming into the room has a distinctly orange tint. Aww. Even here, time doesn't stand still. Really? Huh, the time's gone quickly. Sorry? Right, she's blind. Of course, she can't see the sun setting. What's the sun? It just looks like the sun's starting to set. It seems to come as a surprise for her. I guess she must have lost track of the time. Oh, sorry, Hisao. I didn't mean to keep her from the library for so long. I quickly move to allay her concern. Uh, no, it's okay. The library's still open, isn't it? She pauses and takes a moment to think on it. It's probably something I should have asked Shizune when I had the chance, but Lily seems to know any likely to know in any case. True, it's open until 6.30 during the weekdays. A quick glance at my watch confirms I have well enough time to get there. Hmm, I might get going in that case. It's been nice talking with you, Lily. She smiles and gives a deep nod, <coughs> her hands still neatly folded on the table in front of her. It was my pleasure. Oh, come to think of it, shall I show you where the library is? I couldn't well, possibly yeah. ask for more help. I, I should be able to find it all right. Well, unless my navigational skills fail me, which they seem to have a habit of doing. Clearly. Yeah, you're new to the school. It's all right. I was going to be taking, talking to the librarian there in any case. I could introduce ya. This gets better and better. It's pretty hard to deny her offer. If you're sure, that'd be great. Thanks. As she stands up to follow me, she takes hold of a straight, retractable cane that has been slipped in the handle of her bag on the floor. Compared to the cane the boy in my class had, Lily's looks much thinner and longer. His must be for support, whereas Lily's is for navigation. Together, we leave the peaceful room and enter the empty hallway on the way to the library. Side by side, my pace carefully slowed to match hers as we slowly walk through the hallway. It doesn't take long for us to arrive at the door to the warm-looking room, apparently situated in the corner of the floor rather than either wing. Center. It's fine. What did I say? Corner. Oh. Ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Boyo. She gives an appreciative smile at the guest gesture, taking the lead as we file it. Uh, to the left is the wooden library counter, which the library uh, proper on the, on the right, right. Right, on the right. <laughs> on the right. <laughs> Easily dwarfs my old school's library with the distinct smell of old books, giving the place an almost old world air. There don't seem to be a lot of students here, considering the time. It isn't a big surprise. Everyone's probably either in the school grounds or the dorms. <clears throat> Yuko, are you here? She says it to thin air, and since the librarian doesn't seem to be present, and of course Lily can't see this. <coughs> What's unexpected is that it draws a reaction. Something from under the counter thuds against it, followed by a quiet wail. Oh. Oh. The origin, apparently, the librarian. Oh. She, she's cute. Quickly crawls out I, of I it. like the redhead. Hmm, bounces I, up oh, to extremely okay. origin attention. Okay, first off, how dare you? A what? Second, <laughs> what gives you the right? No, um, I, I like redheads. This is this is nice for me. She's I like a cutie. this. She's, she's very cute. She's they're, okay, they're all cute. It's an animu game. 
Okay. 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 But she's a cutie. She's definitely a cutie. Personal favorite so far. Mm. Hi, Lily. How can I help you? Her voice is strained in a failing attempt to sound casual, and she's rubbing the back I'm of her head. I'm so casual. Okay. Good afternoon. What happened just now? I heard a strange sound. It's nothing. I just hit my head. See, I dropped an eraser under my desk, and while I was looking for it, a pencil dropped in, and when I was looking for both of them, you came in and surprised me. Are you alright? I'm sorry. I couldn't know. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry for making you worry. I'm just talking seductively to myself now. This is nothing. I've had worse happen to me on first dates. Mm, oh. She's quick to reverse Lily's apologies, almost frantically trying to push aside yep. the possibility. Frantic. Very frantic. That she could be in any way inconvenienced by bashing her head Except on for the all the blood gashing from the head wound. Yes, worse things have happened. <laughs> The girl fidgets with her fingers as Lily doesn't seem to drop her concerned expression. Then she shuffles some papers around and counter for no reason. People do that in this world a lot. They do. A little shorter than Lily, replete with glasses, freckles, and a very replete. troubled look. She seems to fit a library perfectly. Re re replete? I've never heard that word before. Yeah, it's a weird... It's like complete. <clears throat> it's like complete with, but replete with. That's weird. What does it mean, really? I, I don't even know. <laughs> Somebody oh. look it up. Tell me. <laughs> yeah, just put, put it in the YouTube comments, put like the link dictionaries, be like, here, I'll Google it for you, idiots. Ah, <laughs> uh, Lily, did you get my massage message? Oh, okay. Message? Hmm. Oh, the two important books that arrived. Right, right, they finally came. I can't believe it took so long. I had to work so hard, but. The minster's <laughs> celebrations, partially for managing to change the topic. I'm sure she notices me from the corner of her eye and freezes on the spot when she does. Oh no, I'm sorry for not noticing you before. Did you need to check out a book or return one? I'm sorry. Sorry. The way she could so quickly shift between moods. She quickly is... shafts, usually. Ah, a little unsettling. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's with me. Yuko, this is Hisao. A new student. Hisao, this is Yuko, the school librarian. Pleased to meet you. For once, I'm doing most of the talking in a scene. Mm. How's that feel? <laughs> Hisao, right, Hisao. Pleased to meet you, too, Hisao. For a second, she visibly attempts to engrave the name of her... M the name on her mind so she won't forget. It says visibly, not metaphorically. She visibly, visibly tries to engrave, to engrave a name on her mind. She's like scratching her skull. <laughs> God, he's so oh. my life for you. Oh, God. You go off and arrange to import foreign books in Braille for me. What a nice lady. I know. Would you like to tell his a little something about the library? Lily's innocent suggestion is met with an expression of abject terror. Oh, no. I, please, Lily, I can't. I don't know what he could be interested in. Anything I could do, any position I could fill. It's too much responsibility. Uh, how it's any responsibility at all, I don't get. I enjoy this voice far too much. Mm, but her objection is so sincere. <laughs> it makes you so uncomfortable. I don't doubt for a second that she would rather disembowel herself on the spot than tell me where the light novels are. That is extreme. Okay. Oh, but... So, there are a lot of books in Braille here. <clears throat> I attempt to save the day by asking <clears throat> the first thing that pops into my mind. It seems to work at least partially, as Yuko seems to not exactly relax, but at least look slightly less tense. Well, I think about a third or fourth of Yamaku's libraries either in braille or audio. Or oral. Makes sense, given all the blind students that be here. <laughs> if uh, it's only that, how come this library is so big in the first place? Well, we get a lot of new books regularly because libraries adequately... Endowed? Mm. That's probably why. Oh, adequately endowed indeed. I spend more on new books than on my salary. I've had to turn to other means to supplement my income. Then I have to organize and shelf all of them. Oh. It's so troublesome and they weigh so much. My arms get so tired day after day. I wish I could quit this job. Uh, a very awkward silence follows this revelation of too much information. Um, I'll go check the aisles then, if you don't mind 
it's probably for the best uh, for all of us if, <laughs> if she doesn't keep talking to me. I feel like you're actually typing this into the game right now. <laughs> Very well. Meanwhile, Yuko, I'll have those books if it's all right with you. You can have anything, Lily. Uh, my first impression <laughs> was right. The library is surprisingly big, as are other things in this library that belong to certain people. Ambly Gallo. What? <laughs> Breasts. Oh, okay. I thought we were just talking about, you know. Oh, there's that too. Woobles. <laughs> Ambling down the narrow aisles, I study the spines of the books in random order, and occasionally sliding one out to read the blurb and taking it with me if it looks good. Like the librarian. Mm, uh, in a few moments, I have a respectable stack of books in my arms. I guess I'll never be struck for choice in here. And the normality of the library sinks in. Sure, there are large print and braille books scattered about, but... It is what it is, a library. I am what I am. Mm, it's as if the call moved from the room I had to you with Lillian snuck in with us here, <coughs> unless it was here to begin with. Something oh. about that puts me at ease, just like before. I reach the end of the aisle and find a collection of desks set up for study or personal reading. Going a little further, though, I discover a nice quiet corner at the back, whilst the uh, rest of the library has the odd student sitting at a desk, either uh, reading or stealthily sleeping. Stealth sleeping. Mm, the back is pretty much deserted. As I glance around, I see someone who I recognize sitting on one of several bean bags. Dad? <gasps> oh, it's the dark-haired girl from oh. my class, the oh. one who snuck out of the classroom earlier. I don't think she was very sneaky. The teacher literally watched. Yeah, they were like, "Oh, bye." That didn't actually say anything because she's, she's a ghost. Uh, reading a book, keeping it close to her face, with all the way down her, her lap, pretty close to her face. Mm hmm. Very close. <laughs> it makes her look like she's really into it. From the way she's acting today, I uh, had her pegged as more of a delinquent than a bookworm. In fact, her mysterious both. disappearance... Yeah, a delinquent bookworm. Yeah. Mysterious disappearance from class raises all sort of whys in my head. And a few X's? Yes. Intrigue floats slowly, but surely, towards the surface. And before I know it, I'm walking towards the mysterious long-haired girl. I guess there's no harm in introducing myself as I would with anyone else. She's a classmate, after all. Walking over to another beanbag, I take a seat and lay my books beside it. The girl starts, looking scaredly at me from underneath her fringe. This is the first time I've seen her this close, underneath her long, dense bangs, I can see that part of her face, at least a third if not half, is pretty badly scarred. My eyes are immediately drawn to the scars, subconsciously peeking past her hair until they meet her own eyes. For a second, I am shocked, and divert my eyes to the book in her hands before I realize that uh, looking away probably only makes it worse. Don't worry, I'll be embarrassed for you. No, okay. good. It takes too many seconds uh -oh. to collect myself and remember what I walked up to her for. <gasps> oh, another spot to break. The epic cliffhanger is upon us. Oh, so we're going to decide next time. I'm sorry I didn't mean to startle you or hi. I'm new here. You sound like Kai. We're in the same class. Damn. Are we going with the nice guy or the smooth <clears throat> guy? Who is Hasao? Uh, he sounds like the guy we're playing us. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. So, keep in, keep in, uh, keep... I was gonna say keep in touch. That's no. Stay tuned. That's that's the right. Stay, stay tuned. Yeah. Stay tuned. Same, same bat time, same bat channel. Except we don't really have a regular scheduling uh, selection time. So just watch the feed page. Yeah. The YouTube. Next time, page. on... Do you want to say it this time? Uh, uh, cripple girls. Cripple girls. Uh. <laughs>